can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. Three here, uh, another trust question using the method of joint. Uh, let's start at joint A because there is already one known forces with two components and another uh, two unknown forces, right? Two equations, two unknown, two equations for x and y, and two unknowns, we are guaranteed to be able to solve it. So for this one, we here's a trick I always set into attention, but for this, we can sort of solve it to determine where the direction of the force of the member is going to. So since this force is going down, then there must be a force that's going back up, right, to counteract the y forces. And since there are two forces that's going to the right, to the left side of the x-axis, well, then this force must be going into this way, right, to counteract the x-axis going to the left, from coming from these two forces. Uh, this force is 130 pounds, and uh, this one we don't know, but this is equal to AC. So we can we can find that real quick. Um, so using the x components of the 130 pounds, that is uh, 12 over 30, that will give us 120 pounds going to the negative direction, right? Um, so AC must equal going upwards um, times the x component, which is um, this is a three, three, four, five right triangle. So we can just use the ratio of four over five um, equals 120 pounds, right? So AC is equal to uh, times five divided by four. That should give us 150 pounds. And that is AC over here, 150 pounds, right? And it's positive. It's going this way. I mean, we already proved it. So it's 150 pounds over here. Um, now we have to find what AB is, right? So using the x components of these two forces, 130 uh, pounds times uh, 5 over 13 plus AC 150 pounds times the x forces, which is uh, 3 over 5, right? And that is 50 plus 90. That would give us 140 pounds of force. So AB equals 140 pounds, right? And to determine whether they're in tension or or uh, compression, we can look at the joint method, right? So if I'm being stretched, then my reaction is to pull, right? So if I'm pushing on the joint, that means I'm being compressed. So AC is pushing on the joint because it's being compressed. So compressed, so AC is in compression, right? And AB is pulling on the joint because it's in tension, it's being stretched, right? So AB is T. And um, since we figured out two of the nodes, let's move on to uh, joint B here. So one over here and one over here, right? So this force is going this way, so this force is going this way. And uh, so this force must go in this way because the uh, other force is um, going that. The only other force is going into the straightly to the y direction. So these two have forces, x forces should cancel each other out. Now, since these are the only two, so AB uh, should equal to BD. So BD is um, equals to AB is 150 uh, pounds and is being is pulling on the joint so is in tension right and then uh, there's no any other force for the y direction so BC uh, is a zero force member right because no any other force cancel this out and some of the forces in the F y direction has to be zero because it's statics so BC equals to zero and then now we can move on to uh, C, right? Since we got some forces uh, worked out, let's zoom this smaller a little bit and move to the right. Um, so joint C over here. So well, BC is zero forces, so we can just not 
uh, care about it at all. So we can just ignore it and because it's zero, right? So this force is AC. AC is, uh, is uh, compression, right? It's pushing on it. So yeah, AC is in compression, so it's pushing on the joint. This is joint C. Um, and this force is 150 pounds. So now we can, so if this force is going this way, then this force is must be going this way, right? Because it counteracts the uh, Y forces. So 150, so we can use some of the forces in the Y direction. Uh, 150 times the Y direction, that is uh, 4 over 5, right? Equals uh, whatever this force um, x times 4 over 5, right? x is the force we don't know. And um, cancels out, so x must be 150 pounds. Hey, look at that. So x, so x and x is what? x is CD, right? So CD is 150 pounds with what, right? It's pulling on the joint, therefore it's being stretched, so it's um, tension force, right? So th if this is 150 pounds, then see these two forces are all going to the positive side, so the right side of the x-axis, so this force must be going into this direction to counteract these two forces. So 150 pounds times uh, 3 over 5, uh, times 2, right, because they're two forces and they're the, exactly the same into the x direction. That give us um, CE. That give us CE, and CE uh, should be 90, 180 uh, pounds, right? So CE here should be 180 pounds. And this is pushing on the joint, therefore it's being compressed, so it's in compression. Right, it's in compression. And then now we did A joint, B joint, C joint, and now let's move on to D joint. Right? So, or we can do E, it doesn't really matter. Um, you know what? Let's do E. Let's do E over here. Okay, so E joint. So this force is going to this direction, right? Because in compression and um, one going upwards, we don't know what is that, and one is going this direction. Okay, so we can find what EF is, right? Because, uh, well, this is going this way, so this force must be going this way. And remember, at E, there's an EY. There's an EY over here because of the this force over here, right? So if this is going upwards, this is going downwards. We don't know what this force is yet, but we'll figure it out. So CE. We find what is this is CE is 180 pounds is equal to this force, which is uh, EF, right? EF times its X component, which is 3 over uh, 5 times 3 over 3. So EF should give you 300 uh, pounds, right? Should give you EF, should give you 300 pounds. And it's positive, right? That means our direction is correct. And it's pushing on the joint be because it's been compressed, therefore it's in compression, right? EF is in compression. And um, we actually can't solve this right now. This is interesting. Well, try and narrow, try and narrow, right? So because there are too many unknowns, right? We can't use the Y to solve these two because we don't know there's only, there's two unknowns with one unknown with on one equations, right? So let's move on to uh, D, right? So DB is um, in this direction and one in this direction, one in this direction, and one should be going to this direction to counteract this force, right? So that means this force is going downwards, which is makes sense, right? Because, you know, uh, it's, it could be balanced, could not. Let's find out later. Uh, but um, see, so joint D over here. We already have BD, right? BD is 140 pounds, and um, CD we found out that is 150 pounds, 
and we don't know what DE is, we don't know what DF is. Right, but we can use the sum of the y forces to find what DE is. So DE equals to 150 pounds times is y components, which is um, 4 over 5, and that is 120 pounds. Right, so DE is 120 pounds. D is 120 pounds and is pushing on the joint, therefore is in compression. Right? Compression. Now DF. So we have DE. Right? We have EF. Now we only have to find what um, DF is. It doesn't require you to find EF, EY. If you want to, sure, we can find uh, find what EY is at the end of the video. Um, so over here, this is. DE is 120. Right, this is 300. Uh, so now let's find what DF is right, right over here. And this should be the same because, you know, oh no, sorry. So this is going this way, this is going this way, this is going the opposite way. So you can set that into an equation. So uh, DF should equal to uh, 140 pounds plus 150 pounds uh, times the x direction, which is uh, 3 over 5, right? So 140 plus 90, that's 230 uh, pounds. So for DF, that is 230 pounds. And since this is pushing onto the joint, then this must be in compression. And here we go. So we let's find out what EY is, 300 times 4 over 5 uh, plus 120. Well, EY is supposed to, supposedly it will give you 120, uh, 240, 360 pounds. And there we go. Well, we can say as a bonus point, EF, uh, EY equals 360 points. I mean, pounds. And here we go. So yeah, this you know, the thing about trusses problems that it's actually not that hard, it's just keeping you know everything in check, um, remember everything, and then you know make everything organized as possible, right? It will help you a lot, excuse me, on your test. Um, but yeah, it's not hard, it's just you know a lot of work. Which, you know, if you've done enough statics, it's kind of like that. Um, um, in general, you know, statics is very it's easy concepts, but it's just so much work uh, repeatedly, and that's why we have computers because computer can do easy stuff repeatedly, fast, many times, right? High efficiency. But anyway, hopefully this question, uh, this video was helpful. Uh, good luck on your you know, homework, revision, whatever you're doing, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye. If you have more questions. Uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.